there's absolutely nothing indicating that Moscow can decide to attack Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia or Poland. But the U.S. is sending troops and tanks there in, quote, a very visible demonstration of commitment to our allies. What the three Baltic states plus Poland will receive is the Iron Horse Armored Cavalry Unit with around 700 soldiers and some 20 battle tanks. The U.S. military says it is the first time it has shipped armored reinforcements to Europe since the end of the Cold War. You may ask, are the U.S. and NATO seriously preparing for war with Russia? Here's one take on the question. Even though it's, it's quite uh, substantial compared to where it was in the past, it's still a symbolic gesture. Let's not forget that even with this built up, this is not exactly a force that will protect, so-called so protect four countries or stop an invasion from, from whatever. Of course, you can hardly win a war with 20 tanks divided into four countries. But this shipment is part of a larger beef up of NATO forces in Eastern Europe, very close to Russia's borders. In the last few months, the U.S. has sent five warships to the Black Sea. The U.S. has also been flying missions of the Baltics. It has deployed F-16 fighter jets to Poland. NATO has carried out large-scale military exercises across Eastern Europe. Russia, too, has stepped up its drills, which NATO deemed as escalatory. What NATO does not see is that its moves, its exercises, its expansion, too, can be and are being perceived as threatening. I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT, Moscow.